Good evening and welcome to EREV TV as tonight the lower bracket finals here for the Alienware Arena Call of Duty Black Ops NVIDIA Launch Tournament. My name is Anger and my broadcast partner tonight will be none other than Wansom. Hello Wansom, how's it going my, my friend? Hey, what's going on man? Uh, been a little while since we've done some Black Ops action here. We had a little bit of break in the, uh, break in the action here. We're coming, winding down, getting towards the end. Uh, again, $1,500 on the line here for this NVIDIA Call of Duty Black Ops launch tournament. $750 for first, $500 second, $250 for third. So uh, we're down here in the lower bracket finals. Going to have Binary and uh, Borderland Gaming here. And uh, the winner will move on to play the Lollards of Lancaster, waiting on them up there in the upper bracket finals, Anger. So three good teams left and should be two good matchup. Absolutely. And on the video, the Supreme Chancellor himself, Bobcat. So he's going to be uh, giving you the viewing pleasure, um, which you'll be watching here tonight for this Alienware Arena match. Now, we have a special guest. Direct from SIVO, he is one of the top admins for that league for Call of Duty and, and probably other things. But let's let's wait no longer, Wansom. Let's bring him in. It is Ian. Ding, 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 ding. What's up, Ian? Uh, bonjour, ça va, and assalamu alaikum. You know, I always get so excited whenever you introduce me. It, it's just amazing. Most women do, Ian, and I, I'm, I'm not surprised <laughs> you do too. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. We are here on Grid, ladies and gents. Now, for some of you probably just wandering and just happen to be on the eRev site, and uh, it's www.e-rev.tv, you're probably wondering what you are watching. This is Call of Duty Black Ops, and the map is Grid. Let's talk about this map as Ian will give us the player's perspective here. And uh, I know you played this map a lot here, Ian. So why don't you give a breakdown here for both sides, at least uh, for Grid, and see what the average viewer out there might want to see. Oh, man, you're putting me on the spot. It's actually been a little bit since I've played uh, CTF and Grid. As you guys know, I pushed hard for uh, CTF. Uh basics of any CTF strat, I guess, just hold the mid, watch your flanks, and don't let them come to your flag. Uh, um, I forget the uh, the far side, back in the actual uh, the snow here, is actually a lot easier to hold on defense. Uh, for anybody who's ever played against Dynamic Dark, you should do a masterful job at holding that, and it's, it's really hard to actually to get back through there, as opposed to towards, uh, the side with, I don't know if you want to call them the warehouses, the bunkers, whatever you want to call them on that side. Everybody has different names for everything on this map, so... Uh, I, I think you can expect a good matchup here. Both of these teams are pretty good. Uh, both teams actually, I think, in e is North American top 10 teams for CTF. So shameless self-plug there. So, uh, again, uh, hold in the middle is important. There's what one of our stats was in this. We, we held the middle. We kind of, we, we usually, we played a 3-1-1 here, which was going to be three people on attack, one person holding your mid and rotating back to help defense and one on defense. Uh, so, um... I think that's probably what the generic thing is for most teams, unless they do two, two, and one. So it's, it'll be kind of exciting to see. Uh, one thing that concerns me is BL, BLG hasn't actually played since their last mat, so or last match, which was I think last Monday, and so they're really rusty at this. And I, I know Bane, I don't know necessarily playing CTF, but I know they've been playing still. So uh, it could be a matchup of uh, knocking the rust off. So again, always yeah. an interesting map. Uh, one of my favorites to play. So. Sit up. Yeah, yeah. I want some. And if we can go back a little bit here in the earlier parts of this tournament, if you remember binary against dynamic, uh, and you can watch that on, um, on the archives here at Erev TV. That match was epic in the open, the flag in the open wooded area there. Uh, they got that flag in the last two seconds of that match, Wansom, and so uh, this be, this could turn out to be a very fun map. And these two teams are pretty even. What is your uh, uh, opinion on that? Uh, you know, I'm gonna. Here, here was my thoughts on binary throughout the tournament. I thought they were the strongest uh, team in the tournament when, when this first, you know, when it first started out, and after we lost, say, uh, you know, VVV and um, uh, let's see, who else was there real, real early on? Uh, I want to say uh, all those, you know, Rob Wiz, all those guys. I can't actually remember what team they were on. Totally forgot. But um, you know, we we lost a lot of those headline players, players coming in from uh, previous Call of Duties, and then binary came in. Uh, they started knocking off, you know, the perennial favorite that was Team Dynamic, and they played really well against, you know, a lot of other teams that were up there on top. And then as we sort of made our way halfway through this tournament, Binary started, you know, slowing down, whether they, they switched over to Search and Destroy, that kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, but they didn't have the same chemistry in CTF that they once 
once did. And uh, that's really where I saw BLG step up. They started doing some roster changes there. They brought on the, the now infamous Skadoodle uh, for reasons that I don't care to get into and that I'm tired of hearing about. But um, they, they seem to have a, a, a chemistry similar to what Binary once had. So uh, I think it's going to be a very even matchup. And, uh, you know, I will say that the Binary has probably dropped the majority of the um, you know the top teams uh, within the CTF community throughout their their history playing it. Uh, however, right now, you know BLG, while they may not have as much uh, uh, much practice in them this week, in that uh, they they've shown more chemistry that the last couple times we've casted them. So I'm going to go with BLG to win this one. And uh, it was actually a surprise to see them knocked down to the lower bracket. So uh, I'm going to go with BLG. Yeah, and I demise uh, beat uh, Borderland Gaming in the in Borderlands uh, last match uh, three to two. Uh, so and that that is also on the archive, so you can check that out. And that was a very close match. And then really that kind of surprised, I guess, us in general because we didn't see that coming. So what is your prediction there, Ian, between these two teams? Uh, mine is I think if uh, Skadoodle plays well, BLG wins. Kind of a common sense no-brainer there. Uh, I'll, I'll go with BLG. All right, all right. It looks like here, looks like I'm good. You now, why don't you take the mic here real quick? I'm trying to figure out what's going on right. in this game as it's no locked. problem. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's had its issues. So uh, take your time getting back in. Just let me know, and uh, we'll get all things. Right, I'm good. I, I don't a think as, we are. As long as they don't uh, decide to uh, have a, over, a last minute knife kill to push into overtime, because <laughs> I hate to have somebody outdo me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wouldn't want that. Can't have that. Uh, looks like we'll be live on restart here as uh, everybody is finally in the server. Binary versus BLG. Uh, I'm going to do a roster rundown here for you guys. Anger's back in the server, so he's going to have to tell me who some of these people are here as I forget every single time. And I hate when people play under aliases. But uh, we'll get this uh, underway for you guys once everybody gets on their respective teams. So match starting in uh, just about eight seconds here. And again, we do have, I think, one war room tonight. Uh, we decided not to do the other for... for uh, for some reasons that we, we don't really need to talk about. But uh, for the binary here, we're going to have uh, a Blimp, Superstar, and uh, Andal, Rage, and Rex. I'm not quite sure who Blimp is. I think that's... Uh, who's Blimp? That's Was that Primo? That's target. 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 Okay. And uh, BLG, you're going to have Caddyshack, uh, Bro Montana, Mamushi, also known as Jonin, uh, Skadoodle, and Master. So... Uh, I'm, assu I'm assuming that's Master, Mass Tyler. So yep. that that will be your lineup uh, here, and things are underway here. we got 10 minutes on the clock, 10 and a half, 5 and a half if we do OT, and it uh, should be a good one here again. Yeah, absolutely. Here we're going to see if uh, Binary can really press a Skadoodle. He's going to be the anchor uh, for Borderland Gaming. And now, as for Binary, they like to, uh, to switch off for the most part. You'll see Super, you'll see Rage, Primo. Uh, they'll, all, they'll all bounce around as the anchor, so uh, you'll never quite know who's going to be that. Uh, but nevertheless, it works for them. Looks like we have a flag uh, pickup here. Uh, let's bounce around here as I'm going to get to it right about now. Looks like we have Mamushi here, joining for BL. Uh, G as he is on the second floor here getting ready to go to ladder house and hopefully get that across Let's see if if we have binary with the flag and it doesn't look as if they do so it looks like we have Oh, there's a nice day there by skadoodle taking out Rex Kwon Do and uh, We have a first score here by Jonin so one to zero early off here for Borderland and uh, as it looks like we're going to have Caddyshack there, he gets taken out, Jordan that is by Andal. So again, 1-0 to zero here, just about eight and a half minutes uh, here in the start of the first half here. Once. And uh, I'm being told right now, Ian, actually, because uh, I think you actually played against them. This is the original binary uh, team right now. They're, they're playing with their original five from you know their, their yeah, foundation that's here. So that's, um, that's going to be interesting to see. Again, that can play a lot into chemistry. It's been a little while since we've seen all five of these guys together. Um, so, I mean, and it, you know, it could work in their advantage, could work uh, at their disadvantage here. Is, uh, we'll continue to see how this one plays out. Uh, again, 1 0 here. Flags right now playing it safe. Uh, as we know, you know, Skadoodle, having played against him, he's a fantastic uh, anchor, and he, uh, he does a great job of holding on to uh, you know, his respective flag site. Uh, absolutely. He's, uh, I, I've played against him several times, and that's one of the things I've always noticed. He is amazing at holding it. All, all the drama with him bes uh, behind, beside it, he's, he's probably, if not the top, one of the top anchors 
in the game. So I, I've always enjoyed playing against BLG. BLG is a great competition, actually. Uh, Caddyshack, which is Jordan R, used to be on my team at one point. So actually, if you can see Caddyshack get taken down from behind, as Rage is going to take him, uh, looks like Rage is going to try to wait for Skadoodle, who he knows is up in the top of the building there. So Rage getting the Skadoodle, and Bro Montana getting taken down. So that's going to be four members taken down for BLG. So we're probably going to see a cap here, as you're going to see uh, Binary move wisely straight up the middle here. So they're going to move straight up the middle and see if they can get the cap. Mamushi, I guess, again, that is Jonah. He's going to be on the far Ooh. side, but he's probably not going to be able to do anything. It's always oh, Skadoodle taking down Rage. So almost had a cap there for Binary, uh, but Skadoodle, again, big man on campus, taking it down, and looks like uh, Master is going to get down and retake the flag there. So I actually didn't think that was going to happen. So uh, amazing play by BLG to, to uh, save that cap. So, and we're going to watch everybody all get set up again. You know, with me, CTF has always been about. It's kind of, it's you know, you get your guys up, you push the flag, you you, you kind of take your picks, you kind of move up, take more picks, move up, and then go on and get the flag. Uh, Binary had that one. I don't know how it got past him. So uh, Super's going to take somebody down there. Rex is taking down Bro Montana. So, again, Binary just, Super is just kicking butt and taking names all of a sudden. Uh, he he kind of got a b bunch of big kills in there. So uh, we're going to, I'm going to pass the mic off, Anger, and let you go back to it. Yeah, well, one of the reasons Rage had an issue there, he was pinging about 300, and it gave uh, Scuduto the opportunity there to uh, get that that kill there, that, and that really worked out in the favor of BLG. Now, it looks like we have Rex Kwando here, as he has the flag here for Binary. Uh, let me bounce around here in the first person, and uh, he has it here. Looks like he's going to try to get this across, wants him, as uh, he's inching a little bit closer here. He has an escort, so let's see if he can get that across. Uh, he's going to get it across, but Mamushi is going to pick up the uh, the flank here. He's going to get shot in the back there by Rage himself, so uh, he's going to go grab this. It's going to be a return, and we will have a cap on the board. So tie ball game, and these two teams are at each other's necks right now, guys. Uh, just going back and forward here. They're doing a great job of spreading out the map. Uh, seen a lot of a lot of flag pickups here, uh, although we've only seen one return for each team. So two caps uh, on on the scoreboard and two returns on the scoreboard here. But when they do get a hold of those flags, they generally stay out in the open there. Uh, you know, we see several people die with the flag, another teammate picking it up, all that kind of thing. So uh, flag is going to be picked up here by uh, Super. And uh, he's been making his way along the side here. He's going to get shot out here by the dumpster. Firing widely, Skadoodle with a pair of headshots there. Takes down both of his uh, opponents there and returns the flag. And Skadoodle continues to impress with his golden uh, FAMAS here, Anger. So he does a lot of damage with that thing. And right now, one-to-one -one here. This is going to be a tight one. And Skadoodle will have to be, uh, again, on top of his game here. As uh, he is on top of his team. 8-4 to four, uh, is his KDR right now. And everybody with pretty even frags right now. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to watch here to see, since we have a couple of players here that could be possibly the impact player of the match, uh, it's going to be fun to watch to see who really is going to stand out here, Wansom, uh, again, and who's going to be key. Again, we always talk about Skadoodle, but I think, uh, at least for Binary, you might see Rage as the anchor. If he could step it up here, uh, he might be one of those impact players to watch for as Skadoodle now in the vicinity here. Looks like he's backing off. Well, yeah, he's just chilling out now. Looks like he's backing off a little bit here. So, so again, the score here, if you're just joining us, one to one uh, tie here as we're about four four minutes twenty seconds to left here in the first half and uh, this has been somewhat entertaining pretty good so far we're gonna do some war room right now so Bobcat let's head on over to binary. All right, no worries there, as we had some communication uh, issues there with the event, but no worries. Uh, as we as we get to the tail end here, three and a half minutes left here in the first half. Now, Ian, uh, as you've had time to digest the first half, at least, anything stand out to this point for you? Uh, you know, li like I said, it's Skadoodle playing extremely well as, as an anchor for his team. Um, it's been several times that that first flag cap that Binary almost ran back and he saved it the last second. Uh, that's stuck out extremely well to me. Uh, and the, the fact, I, I, I wasn't sure Binary was going to hang in, but uh, they, they're hanging in amazingly well, so it's, it's been very impressive to me. Uh, who, who we say? Uh, Andal, actually, is... Uh, on their team for them is 13-11, so he, he's kind of been sticking out and kicking, kicking a little ass, kicking a little tail there. So that's that's been 
been looking surprises. Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say Skadoodle is actually a surprise, but uh, so yeah, he's doing pretty well. Again, as we're watching now, as a uh, superstar and Blimp Tits is going to take down Skadoodle and Mamushi. So I might see another push on a flag here. Uh, as we're going to see Master just missing one guy going into what I like to call the Atlantic. I mean, he's going to be crossing over to Africa. And Binary Rage... Rage is actually going to be up on top of the uh, building there right next to Jordan R. So we might see some action here going soon for a flag. So Binary is just kind of waiting out. Rage is smartly actually. It's going to be waiting around. As you can see BLG all over that flag there. As Bro Montana is going to be hanging around backside. And Caddyshack, which is Jordan R. Coach, are sitting on the flag. So I, I, I was kind of shocked. To me, it looks more like BLG has played more of a passive, played more of a defense. Because uh, I haven't really seen them push hardcore yet. So uh, that's kind of surprising to me. A superstar there is going to take down Master with a nade. So um, I, I really expected them to be more aggressive. When I've played them, they've been, you know, fairly aggressive. And that could be, again, due to, you know, the lack of playing recently. As Rage finally did go with the flag. Not very wise choice by him, though, as there were three players from BLG surrounding the flag there. Again, as I said, they're playing back on the, uh, on the propane tanks, playing back in the site, and playing up in top of what we like to call the B bombsite area in Search and Destroy. So um, Skidoo will, again, taking out Rex here. So, we, we, you know, they were just kind of slowly... Feeling each other out first half. Hopefully we'll see a little bit more aggressiveness on the second half here as um, Mamushi is taking down and Rage taking down Master Tyler and this is impossible to cast play by play. So uh <laughs> Welcome to our hell, man. It's uh, I, I know. Welcome it, to CTF it's been, and Black it's been so long, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's, a, yeah, it's one thing I'm, to call I'm, I'm, um You're you're talking it's to, someone to call play by play by SD, from hell on the exactly. breaking shots. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. Missing the glory days. Uh, so I, I, like under I said, there, 60 s now, now I know how you guys felt when you casted me on a race. It's a little bit of a hectic deal. Each other out, so. Might be seeing a push here shortly from Super, as Super is actually going to be going towards. Oh, uh, looks like Super is taking now. Rage is going to be pushing as well, but Mushi, you know, just perfect timing there to come back on defense as BLG again just taking down that push from Binary. So and BLG just playing back. You look, we've got one, two, three, three guys. One, one guy is backside of the uh, flag, two up in the A building. And he's fixing to run into Andal here shortly as uh, Andal does see them. I'm going to rotate around him, see if he can get through this. He takes down one, and he's going to take down two. So Andal is uh, going to town there. So we're going to try to rotate around to him as he finally gets taken down before I get to him. So, again, defense wins championships, I guess. Uh, maybe not as Rex finally does take a flag. He's going to run it straight into Skadoodle, though. So Skadoodle, again, the man of the hour, the big man on campus, the head man in charge. Taking the flag, there's halftime is reached one to one. Yeah, absolutely. As <laughs> sorry, Ian Andrew. just went I'm on a tangent there. He, God dang, <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. I, I I I can't let everybody hear your sexy voice because the way I hear it, panties drop, money flies. You know, I'm saving the community. Just normal. Come on. Now. All right, here we start the second half, and it is one to one, and it's still pretty much a stalemate thus far here. As we got, as we just jumped in here to the second half. Now, Wansom, uh, again, we we look at binary. They're they're the the prime pushers here. Uh, BLG, like Ian stated, has been kind of on their heels a little bit, a little different here. Usually, it's polar opposite, so it's good to see binary coming out of their shell. Yeah, and you know, it's uh, as we talked about there a little bit before we got started, I think that, uh, you know, Binary definitely had the flag site that was the easiest to defend uh, this last half. So we'll see how this one uh, takes place. I think, I, I feel like BLG was kind of just biding their time. You know, they, they, they did play a pretty passive. They, um, you know, they only let one cap go there again when I feel like they had the harder site to defend there, but they had stellar play from everybody. We'll do a little bit of an E-Rev scoreboard rundown here for you guys to give you guys an idea of what's going on score-wise. Uh, so the scoreboard brought to you by NVIDIA and Alienware Arena tonight. Uh, we'll take a look here at Binary Bobcat. Uh, Going to have Andal up on top, 20 and 16 right now. Zero caps, zero returns. Right below him will be Rex with 11 kills, uh, 10 deaths, one capture. The only capture for his team and one return. And then we will have uh, Super here. He's going to be 14 and 19, one return. Uh, Rage going to be 12 and 16, 14 and 18 there from Blimp. Uh, on the other side of the spectrum here, no surprise. Uh, Skadoodle up on top there, 17 and 10 with two returns. And those two returns, I mean, absolutely huge for his team. Uh, as he has uh, just been a, uh, a key factor there as far as uh, making sure no caps got by. So uh, we do have, have a, uh, a potential cap here. I'm going to stop Handle. the scoreboard rundown to give you guys a look at that. As, uh, it is going to be a cap from Binary as they pick up a 2-1 a lead now. 
And, uh, yeah, and, uh, Andal is going to pick up a flag cap. Yeah, he was pretty much untouched there once, man, as he just pretty much got in there, capped it with, with ease, and uh, it was pretty easy there. So pretty surprising there from uh, BLG, but Scudero was down, so he couldn't pick him up, and really uh, a couple of members from BLG were dead at that time, so really an easy... Uh, Easy run there for Ando. Now he looks like he's going to get right back into that position here. As he does, he's picking up some shots. Takes out Skadoodle here. So Ando doing some work. Picks up. No, he does. He gets taken out by Rage. And he puts uh, the brakes on Ando there. So again, now it is 2-1 to one here in the favor of Binary. As uh, they are stretching, trying to stretch out this lead possibly to another flat cap. Three. If they can get one here. And really put the pressure on BLG once. Yeah, it's it's actually it's three one now if I'm not mistaken. It's uh yeah they got two caps here. Oh yeah, yeah. So three to one right now, uh, in favor of binary. And that second cap there uh, is going to be uh, let's see here rage I believe is going to be the second cap. So rage Rex and and all going to have uh, a cap a piece there. So uh, you know fantastic job there. That's that's a healthy lead, Ian. Uh, you know you look at this. We've got six minutes. Uh, what 40 50 seconds left on the clock here and they've got a two cap lead so I mean it's always possible to see chain caps and, and sort of get things uh, clicking real real fast there but right now uh, you know if you're binary you're feeling pretty comfortable uh, as uh, you know BLG has some work to do here Ian so I mean you're down by two caps you can't uh, you know what do you do here you have to play faster right? yep you have to get up and play aggressive so uh, about five minutes in you're probably gonna take off defense and hope you can get in so I know a lot of the matches we've had, you guys have cast us in overtime. We haven't done it right, and, but the way people have done it is they have just all out, flat out pushed. So that's what BLG needs to do. As you look now, they've actually taken all their guys off defense. I must be no Sodomish, or they're just listening to me, I guess. So they had Bro Montana playing their anchor, actually. Uh, but if, if you notice, they pushed uh, Skadoodle up. They pushed Master up. So again, they're trying. They're finally trying to get aggressive. They have to get aggressive. They have to get those flag caps to uh, keep themselves in it. Yeah, absolutely. And and earlier, uh, Rage was the anchor, at least for a small part of the first half there for Binary. So they have changed that up and they're trying to get a new feel probably uh, for this. And and really, they they're gonna have to do something here. And let's see let's see as we move back here. Let's take a look here at Andal again for Binary. He's pushing uh, very quickly. He had a superstar there, a lead man for him here. Smoke being deployed around that flag area. Let's see if they can pick that up. As it looks like we have, we have blimp tits. That is target. Target now getting <laughs> stunned there. As now he's trying to go around the red rocks here. Wants him a long pathway. He's taking the long way around here. And usually you like to see him go in the buildings. I've seen that, but it looks like he's going to go the long skinny way. Yeah, he's uh, going to take his time getting there. Uh, we'll see uh, if he's able to make his way. He's going to get shot in the back there. So it uh, looks like uh, Bro Montana the has the now. Flag yep. here. Yeah, Bro Montana here. He's going to be moving back towards uh, this dumpster area, heading back out here towards... Uh, uh, the open area is in spawn right now. He's going to jump around the corner. He's going to take down Blimp there. He's going to return the flag. What a huge play there by BMT Bro Montana. And uh, he's going to have to make his way through a treacherous open area right now to try and get a cap here. Skadoodle is playing guard for him right now. And uh, he's going to hopefully be able to jump across. And what a kill there by Skadoodle on Rage. Uh, makes this one 2-1 to one in the second half. That's 3-2 to two here. One cap deficit between these two teams. And uh, 4 minutes, 40 seconds left on the clock. we got all kinds of time to play with here. And uh, BLG with a little bit of momentum back here, Anger and and real quick, uh, I have to give a shout out here as I was watching while you guys were casting. Uh, Superstar there from Binary went on like a 10 kill streak, man. Like nobody could kill him. He, I mean, he pushed all the way across the map. Wasn't enough in the end, but uh, <laughs> Superstar, the 27 and 23, I think he's got like 10, 12 frags already in the second half. Yeah, he's even killing his own players, yeah, man. He's killing side. everybody on this on this battlefield. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of right. worried for a second. You, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, you want to go? You, you no, go, go ahead. I'll say, you know, it's it's bad news. It's like bad news bears when you look at the map. I'm, I'm watching overhead, and I literally see the entire binary team and BLG spawn taking that flag. So I was thoroughly impressed that they got that back and Bro Montana got that cap. So. Yeah, right now we have uh, Caddyshack there getting taken out. He had the flag. Let's see if... Uh, by, oh, nope. It's been returned here by Soup. So BLG almost had that there. And really, again, still scored three to two here as it, it is inching a little bit closer here to the end. We got about what three and a half minutes here, Watson. So again, it's getting a little tight here for BLG. 
Yeah, man, I might need some new some new shorts before. Who am I kidding? I live in Wyoming. I mean, I might need some new ski pants here before this one's over. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to come down to the, the to the last minute here. At least it's going to be tense here. We'll see if binary uh, starts pulling some more people back because they're kind of just taking control of uh, the spawn building right now. They got their anchor plane down there on the ground. Uh, so right now, Caddyshack could be the closest one uh, to their flag. He's going to get shot there by Blimp. Uh, now Mamushi, who has again been an excellent pusher, Jonan has been an excellent offensive player here for this <clears> team. Uh, he's going to have an AUG out here, and he's going to get a kill there on the anchor. So Rex is dead, uh, and he's going to try and make his way around the corner here, probably wait for some backup from his teams. You see somebody up there in the top of uh, the spawn building. They're going to fire on him. Not going to kill here. He's out of ammo. It's Superstar will take him down. BM uh, Bro Montana there with a the kill. BLG uh, picking up some heavy leads here on the, on the scoreboard in terms of, uh, you know, uh, kill count here, but uh, now they're going to be four down here, and we'll have a return there from Superstar. So we're under, uh, let's see here, two minutes, 30 seconds left on the clock, and uh, BLG needs to keep doing what they're doing. They're pushing, but they've got to they got to get the kill count in their favor, and they've got to make a, a, a coordinated push here. So they, they can't panic, and they all can't run in one by one, which is what I, uh, they've sort of been doing here the last couple of minutes. They need to get all five up, and they need to push in together, take a flag, and get a cap, and take this thing to overtime. Superstar is on freaking fire. Please put a fan in front of him because, I mean, we do not want him to overheat. He is just killing everything in his pad. This guy is a war machine. But now Scudoodle has the flag here for BLG. Uh, two minutes left here in, in the second half. Can they do it as Scudoodle now untouched thus far? Does he, ha does he have any escorts? No, he gets taken out there by Rex. Quando wants him. <laughs> But it looks like we have BLG picking it up once again, and it is, whoa, it was Master. He gets taken out by Mawushi, but blipped oh. it. There it is, Target picking it up. Now let's see if he can get it back here as he's being shot upon. But no, Scudoodle as the escort takes the punch there, takes the balls. Oh, and he gets, oh, he almost got taken out. Look like Caddyshack was going to take his own player out. But it looks like he's going to get <laughs> back now, wants him. Can we get a little closer here, about a minute and a half? Let's see if they can get this score. No, Rex Quando coming back once again. Oh, he gets shot in the back at the last second there. Uh, flag remains in the hands of BLG here. It's going to be Bro Montana with it. And uh, it's going to be, let's see here, just under, over a minute, I'm sorry, left here in the uh, in the half here. So again, one cap here from uh, BLG will push this thing to overtime. But there is Superstar. He's going to get the flag here. He's going to jump across and return it. And that should be another cap for Binary. It is 3-1. to one. That makes it 4-2 to two wow. here. Uh, in the and that's that's going to do it here. It's 58 seconds left on the clock here, and uh, th these were two really really evenly matched teams. I uh, had a lot of fun casting this one, uh, but you know, binary they're going to prove us all wrong here. As I believe we all picked BLG to win this one, and binary coming through big time, uh, taking care of business, and and is probably going to win this one four to two, if not five to two here. So they have the flag again, anger. So uh, you know, right now that makes what uh, that makes third place here for BLG. Yeah, as the clouds have opened up, the, the sun is shining. The impact player, the one that has risen from the ashes like a phoenix, is going to be super. I mean, this kid was all Without over the doubt. place. I, I mean, he was everywhere, and he was the, the godsend here to help Binary get over this hump again. It is still 4-2. to two. Uh, Looks like Mamushi now. Jonah is trying to get this across. I don't think he's going to have enough time here as 9 seconds comes across. No, this is it. Good games all around for Binary. And I don't really call this an upset, but it is a surprise. I I am surprised, Anger, to state to state the obvious. Uh, you know, binary. Like I said, when when they came to this tournament, I felt like they were without a doubt the up and comer uh, coming into this. As far you know, as as those perennial teams started to move to S and D, or those perennial teams started to just stop playing Call of Duty, uh, binary was the strongest team that was up and coming. They played great together. Um, and then, uh, you know, I sort of saw them taper off, and then BLG came in as a very, very strong roster. They were pushing people around, just getting out of their, getting people out of their way uh, in a really aggressive team. And then here tonight, we saw Binary with just a fantastic play style. BLG, uh, I don't think they really, you know, I, I won't say they came in without a game plan, but I don't think, uh, you know, they haven't been behind much. Uh, when they've played, we, we saw them, uh, you know, they moved into the lower bracket, of course, we've seen them lose, but uh, we haven't seen them play from behind that often, so Binary, uh, they were cool, calm, collect, and victorious tonight as they move on to play uh, the Lollards of Lancaster in the grand finals here, I can't believe they're here for this Alienware Arena and Video Call of Duty Black Ops launch tournament, uh, and again, uh, they'll be playing for 750 or $500, and congratulations, we should say, to Borderland Gaming for taking home, uh, what is that, uh, $250 for third place. Not bad, not bad. There's, you can get something there. It's split it five ways. Uh, you can get a little something there. Uh, nonetheless, we're going to try to get Super in here in our event uh, for a quick interview. I do have a shout-out here. Uh, I have one here from Schuster.
from um, binary here. Let me uh, pull this. Uh, let's see. A shout out from Hooker Lips to Andal. Stop hacking and paint your room. And, and let's see. Do, do, do. And that's pretty much it. So that is from Schuster. So thank you for that shout out there. He's one of our fellow casters. You'll see him on the uh, S&D cast coming up in the very near future here for Erev TV. So uh, looks like we're still waiting for Super. Hopefully he can get in here really quick. Uh, any additional information, uh, Wansom, that you want to give out to the public? Uh, hmm. Well, I, I mean, obviously, any, make sure. The live, no, no predictions, nothing? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to sit back and think here before we talk about Lollard's Lancaster versus Binary, because uh, quite frankly, I thought we'd see BLG there. So, uh, yeah, you know, Lollard's of Lancaster and, and Binary, it's gonna be a great matchup. Again, of course, make sure you guys tune in for that. We will, will not miss that as soon as we get it scheduled. We'll let you guys know when, and uh, make sure you guys tune in for that. So, um, uh, and uh, I believe this is gonna stay as as true double elimination. Is it not, Ian? That's correct. Okay, so we we could see you know a, a potential. Um, uh, well, I mean, it would be two maps at, at most. So uh, we'll let you guys know when and where and uh, what time, and we'll get that on the air for you. But it uh, looks like our guest of honor in here, this guy was unstoppable, uh, has made his way into the vent here. Yeah, absolutely. Schuster, or excuse me, uh, Super here has done it all. I mean, especially in the second half, this kid was on fire. So we're going to talk to him right now. Congratulations, Super, as you guys are in the finals. How does it feel? Uh, as a player and as a as a team member of binary feels pretty good feels great second final in two of the, the three tournament two of the three tournaments we've played in so yeah right, absolutely good role well let me ask you this first off I mean uh, again like we were saying you were on fire and especially in the second half and I know that rage was kind of you know as the anchor and you kind of were switching off there but you really took the anchor position more towards the second half was that uh, a halftime adjustment that you guys made or is it just something you took upon yourself to do super um, we kind of really just play the anchor off the spawns really um, Primo was doing a lot better at it than I was so we had him stick on anchor most of the time but it just happened the way it happened yeah, absolutely there did you feel like you were in that zone because I mean we caught a lot of kills when you watch the archive you'll notice that but uh, did you feel like you were in that zone because you were just killing everything? Oh yeah, first half uh, we were doing terrible first half as, as a team and as a player myself I was doing horrible and just had to step it up the second half in order to get that win for us. Yeah, want some heavy questions here for Super. Yeah, let, let me ask, you know, I, I actually talked to um, uh, Schuster. Uh, who told me you guys are actually playing for you know for the first time in a while? I think is is, is playing with their original roster. So, I mean, what what were the changes there? What was it like playing with that original five? Um, yeah, last match we had to play with a backup because one of our members couldn't make it. So that was weird playing with him, and having the original five back just with all of us back together, especially Primo coming back, um, it helped us out a lot because I really don't think we could have done it with another player instead of the five of us. Yeah, and uh, real, oh, real quick, um, do you, what uh, you, have you have you guys played Lollards of Lancaster, or um, you know, I mean, what are what are you guys looking for with with that championship there? I mean, have you guys played them very often? What are your thoughts on that matchup? How are you guys feeling about? Them? Yes, we actually played them earlier in Alienware, which knocked us down to the lower bracket because we, like I said, we had to play with a backup, so it wasn't we weren't used to it and everything. So I think we have a lot better chance playing them now because we're used to playing together and everything. You played them on launch, and it was 2-1, to one, very close, even with the backup. Now you're going to be playing on Summit. What is? I know that Summit is a pretty hot map. A lot of teams like playing that for uh, CTF. Um, how do you guys feel about uh, Summit? And if another map comes up, what, what map would you want to play? Uh, we're really good on Summit as a team together. It's one of our better maps, actually. If I had to pick another map to play, I would say either Havana or I don't know. Havana is pretty, probably our best. All right, all right. Now remember, Lawlers of Lancaster or or I uh, demise. Uh, he could be lying, so don't pick the map. You never know. He could be <laughs> just uh, faking the funk here once. Oh, devious, devious things in the world of Call of Duty. 
All right. So uh, I didn't know, Ian. Did you have any questions here for Super at all? Um, not really. So, uh, congratulations, game well played, man. Thank you. All right, Super. Uh, you you are the E-Rev Impact player of the match. So congratulations on that. You can put that in your SIG. So when you're killing people in pub servers, uh, they'll see that. So good job there. I'm I'm sure you'll be putting that in right now as soon as you leave the vent. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations and good play there, Super, especially in that second half. We look forward to seeing you going up against Itemize or Lollards of Lancaster, depending on how you want to see it. Uh, nonetheless, uh, we'll be looking for, forward to that match. Thanks for coming by, Super. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to AO, AO uh, and Professional Media Designs, EO Reality, and Nation Voice, our sponsors oh, uh, here at Binary. Yeah, absolutely. I, I totally forgot about that. We always give our, our impact <laughs> player that chance. So thank you for taking us, Super. I, I appreciate it. I forgot about that. That was my best. <laughs> my pleasure. All right, man. All right, want some uh, any closing uh, comments here as we get ready to put this match in the record books? Uh, no, man. Uh, like I said, it, it's been a long, hard haul here uh, throughout this tournament. I mean, it's it's gonna be three months by the time we finish finish this thing, and uh, uh, a little bit of March Madness, if if you will. And I think Ian uh, told us uh, the final will be on Monday. I think so. Um, make sure you guys tune in for that. It'll, it'll be a good one. Anger and I will put on our excited voices, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good matchup there. I wouldn't mind seeing two maps. So uh, always enjoy seeing good competition, and despite what we've seen uh, with some teams dropping out and some controversy and uh, Team Dynamic making me redo one of my videos because they decided to cheat and all that kind of stuff, uh, it's, it's been a long road, but we ended up with two really good teams <laughs> in the championship. So I'm excited about that, and again, uh, it'll be fun to watch these two teams again playing for what the remainder of the $1,500 prize, uh, 750 first, 500 second and $250 went to BL Gaming tonight. So congratulations to them, and stay tuned, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. And again, Ian, thank you for coming by and giving us uh, your perspective there from a player's side of it and, and uh, somewhat of an admin, but more from a player. We appreciate that, and I'm sure the viewers out there will enjoy the... Uh, the epic casting from Ian there, just going off there for like four that. minutes. <laughs> you know, nothing, nothing can beat listening to you, Anger. Nothing can beat listening okay, to you. Okay, right, here it comes. All right. All right, for myself, Anger, Wansom, Ian, and of course the Supreme Chancellor of Video, Bobcat, would like to say good night. And until next time for the Alienware Arena in Video Launch Tournament, adios.